In this video, I'll show you how to embed a Canvas app within a model driven app. Now to start with, I'm in the makeup portal. So I will pick one of the tables which I have created. So there's a table named as minerals. Now this table has basically three or four columns which I've added. So one column is minerals, atomic number, mine. So with some random data I have just put in. Now I have created an app. I've created a model driven app, but just by clicking on create an app, so uh, I'll show you how the app looks like. So maybe let me go into a separate window. And from here, if I go into this app, so I've created this app called as Aussie Resources. So it's a model driven app. So I'll just play this app and show it to you how it looks like. So this is a model driven app. It lists down all the minerals. And if I click on one of the mineral, it will show me the, uh, the details, the form details. Now, why would you like to embed a Canvas app within a model-driven app? Now, model-driven app has a uh, like a specific set of interface. So it has a top bar, it has a detail pane, uh, it has like a form component in various layouts. So there's not much from a UI perspective you can do in a model-driven app. So maybe one of the use case would be to, if you want to have some sort of a custom uh, interface, uh, which you would like to plug into your model driven app, you can do that Do that through the Canvas app. Now, there are some steps which we need to follow in order to do that uh, interface and uh, if you want that interface to be smooth. So, in this example, what we are going to do in the Minerals app, so let me show you the Minerals app table. So, it has column called as Atomic Number and Mine. Now, I could have easily put Atomic Number and Mine over here and my problem would have been solved using model driven app but what i want is like the atomic number and the mine details uh, needs to be uh, maybe uh, have some sort of a styling element into it okay so if that's the case then i will not be able to do that in a uh, model driven app so in order to do that what we are going to do first from a schematic perspective i'll show you how it will be so i will have this place for canvas app so i will embed a canvas app and the canvas app will have uh, two columns. Uh, one is the mine details. So mine detail will be here. So it will show the information over here and uh, uh, atomic number, okay? So it will show something here and, and maybe I'll make it in a different color or bold it out, okay? So just an example. So this is what uh, I'm gonna do. So this will be a canvas app. So canvas app will be embedded within the model driven app. So in order to do that, uh, what we need to do first is go into the model driven app. So let's go into the model driven app. So this is a model driven app. Let's go in the edit mode. So I have clicked on edit uh, then the pencil icon and I've been shown this interface. Now from here, I have minerals in the form of minerals view and minerals form. So that's a custom table which I have created. Now, in order to edit this, what I need to do is like, if I go inside this form, okay? So if I click on this pencil icon, then this form gets opened up, okay? This form is one column, okay? What I could have done, I could have easily clicked on mine and I could have easily clicked on atomic number and my model driven app would have been completed. but maybe my customer's requirement is like mine and atomic number might be in a, some different styling or it should follow some different convention in terms of style and look so that's why the customer do not want this uh, form uh, to be approved in the model driven app so then my only choice what i remains is to make use of a canvas app now in order to use a canvas app what i need to do i'll go into the components and i'll start finding if there is something called as a canvas app over here okay so I can go over here and I can uh, embed that Canvas app within the application, right? Uh, but what I would recommend you doing is something different. Don't use this modern interface. Um, so first, what you need to do is like click on this three icon over here, three dots over here. Okay, before we go there, I'll just click on save and publish because we have made some changes in the form. Uh, so I want that changes to be published once that is done click on three dots over here and switch to classic now once you are in the classic interface here you'll see that old interface being displayed so what we will do we will uh, pick up any column okay any random column just uh, say i'll just pick up 
mine column okay and i'll just just put over here in this form okay now here what i would do is i'll take this column i'll double click on this okay now once i double click on it it will um, show me this controls option okay on the last tab i'll click on add control and then i will add the canvas app so i'll select canvas app and i'll click on add now the moment i do that it has automatically taken the entity entity name and app name and app id is not yet published okay now see this app name and app id now what is this app name and app id is the app name and app id of the canvas app now we haven't built the canvas app okay so what we're going to do we are going to build a canvas app now in order to build a canvas app first what we will do we'll click on customize over here so i'll click on customize and then it will open an interface and it will start creating the canvas app so we'll name this canvas app as uh, maybe mine resource canvas app. So I'll go to the settings and I'll call this as mine resource canvas app and we can pick up any icon so you will put a star icon and then if there are any other changes which we want to make we can do that uh, we can select the size custom width and height uh, i'm not going to change anything uh, as of now uh, i'll just keep uh, everything default i'll click on close and now here i can see uh, the table uh, this uh, particular form has been loaded which has uh, one column in it named as minerals but i don't want minerals because minerals column is already as a part of a model driven app so first thing what i will just select this particular form and maybe i can you know like maximize it minimize it depending on uh, how much real estate i want to edit so i'll select this and there is an option to layout data and fields if i click on fields i can add fields so i'll add a field of atomic number and mine I'll click on add and from uh, the field of minerals and created on this I do not need so I'll just remove this from here and this is what I would want it to be displayed okay so if I want to edit this I can go ahead and maybe make it bold or maybe change the color so I can go over here and make those color uh, and from a mine perspective, I can make this as some different color. So maybe this is some weird requirement from the customer that I want to have some sort of a color indicator or any other custom component within the application. I want this font name to be uh, of uh, font name to be of say Lato Black, and this font should be uh, of yes, let's make it Lato Black and so on and so forth so let's assume this is the change which you have made and also for this entire uh, form we can uh, make further changes we can put a border around it so if i put a border of say two and if i put around uh, put maybe green color so this is the edit which we have done for the uh, canvas app once this is done that's it uh, i'll just click on save and once you save this information so this is a canvas app mind resource canvas app which we have just built i'll publish this changes so once this is done let's publish the canvas app now remember when we came from the old interface when when it started provisioning the canvas app the only field which was published uh, field which was visible was table and the app id and the app name was uh, not there because the app was not created at that point of time i'll just click on publish this version and now if we just go back over here you will see that the app name has come and the app id has come so it's very simple to get the app id if you go into the make maker portal open the canvas app in a detailed mode you'll find the app id however for an app name if you want to find what is the app name so if you need to find that logical name of the app you need to go into a solution or uh, create a solution uh, and then uh, basically add that app and then 
within that interface, you will be able to know the uh, the logical name for the app. Okay, so this is how it is populated. So now what I'm going to do, I'll click on OK. Now remember, you need to click on Save. Okay, and then click on Publish. Now, once this entire publish thing is done, what we can do, we can navigate to the model driven app. So let me do a hard refresh. So I'll do a F2, I'll just do a right click and empty cache and hard refresh. So it is showing me two columns in a model driven app so that means our changes are not yet published so what i'm going to do i'll go back to the model driven app over here and i'll click on save and publish okay it says someone saved changes to the form and your form is not the latest i'll say overwrite that changes or discard your changes and refresh to see the latest i'll click on apply because we have made that change in the classic interface so we have to discard our changes and now once the change comes back you need to publish the model driven app okay and one more thing what we have missed and that's the reason why it is not showing is we have added this column mine we have just picked a random column you can you can pick any column now when you double click on this column what we have done, we have gone into controls and we have added this control canvas app, but we need to explicitly specify in which interface you want to show that as a canvas app. So I'll say in a web interface and from here, I'll click on OK. Once you do that, click on save. And then publish. And once this is published, you should be able to see the uh, canvas app listed over here. So let me do a right hard refresh. And now as you see over here, this particular column, mine column, I have utilized to load a canvas app. Now the canvas app will be loaded in this particular section. Now, if you're not authenticated, it will ask you to authenticate. And now as you see over here, it has displayed this information. Now, again, from a styling perspective, we have made some changes. That's why it's looking big, but make sure that you make your Canvas app more responsive because Canvas app is not responsive by default. You need to make it responsive. And depending on that scenario, you can uh, try to align the UI of the Canvas app with the model driven app. Now you can hide this column as well. You can hide the mine column because if you do not if it is not representing anything uh, so you can go ahead into the form you can just double click on uh, the control uh, the mind control and then from there you can uh, actually hide uh, the label okay so i'll just open this control and say display label on the form i'll just unselect it i'll click on ok click on save and then click on publish and let me again refresh this So this is how you basically uh, embed a canvas app in a model driven app. Now we could have done an another way, like we could have created a canvas app and then embed that canvas app in the model driven app, but we have gone into a different route because uh, there were some gotchas in the, uh, in that the, uh, if you do it in the independently, if you use that customized button on the classic portal and create a canvas app, then it does that linking. Now, what is that linking linking? I'll, I'll, sh I'll talk about that linking later, but then I'll show you about how, how this app works. Okay. So I have a listing of all the apps, uh, mineral items. So I'll click on calcium. And then once I see the calcium mineral, I will be able to see the information like 63 and it is active. Okay. So if you want to verify the information, calcium 63 active. Now let me select plutonium. It should be 21 defunct. So if I go select, uh, if I select plutonium, then I should be able to see 21 defunct. Similarly for silver, uh, if I select silver, then if I navigate to that record, 
then I should be able to see 17 and active and that is 17 and active. So this is how you can navigate to the record. Now, as I have like a couple of uh, columns, so this looks very simple, but then think about it. Like if you have a table which has 200 fields and if you want to show some sort of a red, amber, green indicator in a nicely formatted Canvas app, then this will be a, uh, you know, a method basically you use to uh, render the canvas app in the model driven app now let's open this canvas app and see what happened now what happened in this canvas app when we did something okay so what we did is we double clicked here and we went to the controls we selected the canvas app control and then once i selected only entity name was visible app name app id was not if i once i click on customize it open the canvas app in a power app studio and it allowed me to author that canvas app but how it linked is it added something like this model driven form integration okay so this is kind of a data source for this particular form okay but you haven't gone into data and then added that table over here so all this linking up is automatically done by that interface so that's why i said you need to go into the classic interface and build this solution now let's see the property model driven from integration it automatically connects to that table so if you see the data source it's minerals and if you navigate to on data refresh you will see refresh of minerals okay and also you can utilize this object to query okay so if i put a text box over here okay so let me put that text box over here you can use that as an object okay but you need to provide the right context so I can put model driven form integration okay so as you see over here I can see model driven form integration dot and then you get a data and then you get an item so item is the actual record of that context so if you are navigating through a model driven app remember when you navigate to a model driven app from here so let me go over here what exactly is you're doing is like you're going into one of the record okay so say if i go into this record gold so then what happens this particular id this particular id gets passed this particular id gets passed to the canvas app now canvas app should exactly get this id in order for it to render so it is one item at a time so if you are opening gold as a mineral you are passing this id what canvas app does is canvas app has like an internal data source called as model driven form integration which is pointing to the minerals table and then it is trying to retrieve the column elements and that's what it does and you if you want to have uh, some other column element and if you do not want to rely on the form over here you can go ahead and easily uh, customize your form accordingly so i've shown you the object model driven form integration and then if you select an item then you will get that current context of that item and then if i put a dot then you will be able to see all the items listed over here so take for example if i want to see created by or created on so if if it follows that standard data type uh, you will be able to retrieve the uh, information okay but remember you need to be in the context of that record okay so i can select various uh, uh, column types so if i selected atomic number i can see i can see this 63 over here if i select minerals now the minerals is coming from minerals and minerals here and it is showing me the context of minerals calcium now what if i put minerals id so if i put minerals id it will give you the guid now this guid okay is the calcium's guid so 08b it starts with 08b so if you go into the model driven app and if you navigate to say calcium watch the guid over here now this is that same guid 08b which we are seeing in this particular canvas app so that's it folks this is how you basically use a canvas app you utilize a canvas app which you built and embed that in a model driven app so that's it this is all about integration of canvas app into a model driven app thanks for watching